Hello everyone, welcome back to Nat Tuesday. I have finally made it back. We had a very big storm that was heading our way and thanks be to the Lord. Oh my Lord, that storm did not hit Florida. So I'm very thankful first to my Lord and Savior Jesus that it did not happen. I'm so glad. Thank you, Lord, that storm didn't hit us. Well, according to the title of this video, I want to talk to you guys about a spritz spray that I've been using every day for my hair and my scalp. And as you can see, I have my hair in African treading and it is growing. I mean, it's thriving leaps and bounds. And I want to share what I do in order to get my hair growing very vibrantly, if that's all right, if that's the right word. But anyhow, um, so if you are new to the channel, please subscribe, hit the like button. If you like the video, um, I am going to reflect back to some videos I made about this uh, concoction called uh, it is rice water with aloe. But I did do a video with um, how to take your fermented rice and grind it up and make it out, out of flour. So if you're new, you got to stay tuned for this. If you're old, if you're an old subscriber, you got to stay tuned for this because this this um, concoction that I make is going to really do wonders to your scalp. So with that being said, please stay tuned. All right. Some of you guys may remember the this video I made about how to take your fermented leftover rice and basically um, grind it up into powder. And you and you know I've mentioned in the video you can use it for baking and some other things, but I want to show you how you can make fermented rice water with this rice flour because it's already fermented. So rather than spending three days trying to put your rice in a bottle for two days, a day, or whatever, 24 hours to three days, you can take that old fermented rice flour and actually rekindle. The fermentation process in less than an hour and you can have your rice water ready and basically put it in your little concoction your little spritz which this is what I want to talk to you guys about this is um, a nice uh, aloe vera rice water concoction that I make and I'm not going to give you the recipe in this video but the next video I am going to demonstrate how I make this using my rice, fermented rice flour, and we'll go from there. But I just wanted to show you guys, you know, what I use and, and how I'm gonna spray this on my hair. I use this every day on my scalp, and because I have African treading on my hair, I can sometimes use it on my treads, and it doesn't do anything but just kind of saturates and get on the hair. Um, my previous video, I did a video about, you know, um, twisting my hair, but unfortunately that was too time consuming for me. So I had to go back to African treading, which has always worked for my hair. And I will be doing a video about how I do my African treading because there are several types of treads that you can use or threads. Some of y'all might pronounce it threads. I say treads, um, but there's several ways and, and you can literally do your hair and it'll look like possibly look like dreadlocks. I mean, my hair looks like dreadlocks and I like the beads at the end because it kind of keeps it a little dangly, but these are upcoming videos. So in the meantime, let me just show you guys what I do. I have this spray bottle here and all you got to do is just pump it and it has like a continuous spray and I just spray it on my scalp. And it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, rice concoction that I have on here with aloe. Aloe is just really good for the cellular regeneration of the scalp. It is antibacterial along with the fermented rice water that really does wonders for your scalp. And it really causes the hair to grow in leaps and bounds. So you have to stay tuned I'm begging you because you you don't want to miss this next video that I have 
um, basically how I, uh, you got to check that video out. I'll leave the link in the description box, basically, and how to make the fermented rice flour. So you can skip the three-day step. You just do it in one shot and you use that rice, that fermented rice water. And in that rice flour, you are going to save that for a day when you just want to basically make rice water, fermented rice water. So this is it. This is all I do on a daily basis. And that is, that is it. That is it. And I am getting a lot of compliments about my hair that it is growing. Um, I'm really happy with my results. I always say that, but you know, I've, I've had a lot of ups and downs with my hair and I've never really shown you guys any videos of me with frustration, hair frustrations, but I think I'm going to start recording some of my hair frustrations so y'all can see, but needless to say, this is it. This is the conclusion of the video and I really hope you guys stay tuned for the next video that I am going to post about my um, aloe vera rice water spritz that I use daily on my hair and it definitely has been helping my hair to grow in leaps and bounds and I have a really nice surprise for you guys because you guys know I'm natural A2 and I love natural 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 and I got some upcoming things that you guys are gonna just be so surprised <laughs> So I'm trying to get back with it here, y'all. I know I've been kind of missing in action for the last couple of weeks and haven't been posting like I had been in the past. But as um, long as y'all stay with me, you know, I'll try my best to do every Tuesday or every other Tuesday. So I think I need to do every Tuesday. But anyhow, um, this concludes the video. If you like the video, hit a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until the next video, much love to you guys and many blessings. Take care. God bless.